there are so many similarities between Edward V. 111 and Wallace Simpson. In fact, Megan bears an uncanny resemblance to Wallace when she scrapes her hair back tightly. The Queen's father ended up in an early grave. The Queen's life on the throne should never have happened. But, one thing is for sure, the Queen has been exemplary in the duties she has undertaken on behalf of our country and the Commonwealth. Whatever Meghan's intentions are, people in this country are savvy and they will never forget what has happened. Prince Harry made a brief appearance in Meghan Markle's first episode of Archetypes with guest Serena Williams. But the Duke of Sussex has remained off Spotify since the royal couple appeared together on a teaser for Archul Audio at the end of 2021. Author and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop have claimed the prince is struggling as Meghan takes on more work. Introducing the new, soon be a major hit show, The Royals of Montecito. Produced, directed, edited, and written by the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Also starring, drumroll, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Famous friends of the Duchess will make guest appearances but we're keeping them a surprise because so far we've been unable to convince any of them on her list to participate or even acknowledge they know her. But wait, there will also be an occasional guest appearance by her husband slash court jester slash cash cow, hapless ass, just so she can remind the public that she married into royalty and is, therefore, a VIP who we have to bow down to, listen to, and believe her BS. Coming to a Spotify podcast or Netflix docu-series soon. Speaking to Palace Confidential, Ms. Dunlop said, I think Harry's struggling with it. Poor old Harry. Who is in front of the cut? It's Meghan. Who is hosting the podcast? It's Meghan. Where is Harry? I feel sorry for Harry. Has like the in-between guy. Meghan is off there in the fast lane. It comes as Harry and Meghan are back in the UK this week for the first time since returning for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Duke and Duchess will appear at events in London and Manchester, as well as jetting off to Germany to mark the one year countdown to the Invictus Games. It is not known what day the couple will arrive on British soil, or if they will visit the Queen in Balmoral, but it is thought unlikely they will bring their children Archie and Lily on the working trip. It's always very satisfying to have one's suspicions confirmed. This was always her game plan. She set out to ensnare Henry, never intending to remain in the UK. The racist card and mental health care were played as an escape tactic, which would also ingratiate herself with African Americans. She even had that Winfrey woman in tow, ready to use her too. Poor Meghan. Those nasty, white colonialists didn't want you in their family, and made your life hell. Come back home girl. Well shower you with love, and make you the star you've always craved to be exclamation mark seriously. Black people should be every bit as angry as white people because she played us all just to get where she is now. They will head to Manchester on Monday for the One Young World Summit, an event which brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. Megan, a counselor for the organization, will give the keynote address at the opening ceremony. They will also meet a group of summit delegates doing outstanding work on gender equality, one young world said. The couple will then head to Germany for the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023 one-year to go event which is taking place on Tuesday, before returning to the UK for the Well Child Awards in London where Harry will deliver a speech on Thursday. Their visit to the UK will be the first time they have been back in the country since the Jubilee celebrations in early June when they attended the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. She just needed him to notify everyone who she was. Everyone always knew who he was while she was nobody at all, just a minor role actress coming to the end of a minor career. Now everyone knows who she is whether or not she deserves to be acknowledged with the appalling lies she's told and the way she maligned the royal family and still continues to do after all this time they've been away from the UK. She just can't get the spitefulness and jealousy out of her system because, if she does, she'll become nobody again and the likes of Spotify and Netflix won't be offering her large sums of money to slate her husband's family. It comes just days after Meghan's wide-ranging interview with the cut in which she said it takes a lot of effort to forgive and hinted that she can say anything. In the interview, running to more than 6,000 words, Meghan said that just by existing she and Harry were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy before they stepped down as senior working royals. 
Harry and Meghan's trip falls on the same week the new Prime Minister is due to be announced and asked to form a government by the Queen. The monarch will appoint a new Prime Minister at Balmoral for the first time in her reign. He naively thought he'll become as famous as his superstar mother Diana outside the royal confines and got a rude awakening that has a nobody without the royal firm. So quit mithering about security as though you're special enough pfff. To be honest, I think Harry is the fall guy. Sadly, for whatever reason, Meghan seems hell-bent on making a name for herself as the person who contributed to the downfall of the firm. Of course, this will never happen. So. Harry is left with the question should I stay, or should I go? To me, the writing on the wall was the separation of Harry from his family, by moving to the USA. This is a symptom of a person who is a sociopath. A person who whitewashes out another family. This type of behavior is predominantly found in cults and not the cut. The difference is Edward was exiled to the Bahamas and afterward, he had to lead an empty life for the rest of his days in France. However, don't know which country would welcome H&M especially if they insisted their security was paid for. The one thing Wallace did not do was to open her mouth and denigrate the RF, albeit she have may wish to do so, I quite agree with all you say and firmly believe that by her own actions Meghan will be hoisted by her own petard, eventually. When the dreadful day comes and hmm Queen leaves this mortal coil, I sincerely hope that they have the decency to stay put in Montecito. If you try to display the same type of behavior as you did at the Prince Philip's memorial service, then the public will let you know how they feel. Harry you getting the idea, it's not about you it's about your missus, you thought she would be hanging on your every word and think you're the bee's knees when you're just a stepping stone for her to think she is the new Queen of America, let's hope they don't believe what she says about your family it's not like she spent much time with any, what she does not know she makes up. Poor Harry. As a father the same age as Charles I'd be angry and distraught that Hess allowing her to make malicious allegations against my family. Hess not bothered about the pain and grief Hess causing his father, brother, and especially his 96-year-old grandmother who reportedly doted on him. He deserves all the agony she's going to cause him when they divorced. It's time that they lost all their titles and privileges. Prince Harry, who once had everything but lost it all when he married a Z-list bit part actress who is unable to accept that she has no talent and thought she could trade on Harry's title, but has now found out she has destroyed him in the process. They've missed a few bits out of the article Meghan Markle career timeline. There is no mention of when she worked on ocean-going sailing ships or as a senior hostess at golf clubs or as a receptionist at certain high-class entertainment houses in London and Toronto. Well. He was the spare in the RF only right and just he continues the role as spare in his marriage, the difference being he had full support from his family that his marriage has now destroyed. It's sad really they cd have done so much good but the call for money and fame in his wife was too strong, he had to follow her lead or lose face. What his wife is doing with her threats is bad enough but he is condoning her actions even as far as accepting her attempt to take center stage on the 25th anniversary of his mother's death. More and more Harry is escaping to his polo, without his attachment Meghan, albeit taking private jets to do so. Maybe his roots and upbringing will finally come out, who knows. At the moment I think Hess still in the honeymoon phase and of course, Meghan sealed her bets with the children. I cannot see in the future his marriage lasting, maybe it will take many years to come, who knows.